Hi guys, <clears throat> so today we're going to be playing a game called Hacknet. Um, in case you couldn't tell from the title, it's a game about hacking. Um, it's a really fun one, and it's also very stressful. Um, I played this like, I don't know, so I think like the summer of 2019, um, but then I stopped. Um, I just got not interested in it, or it was too hard, um, anyways, uh, okay, so, um, we're gonna do new session, we're gonna do bannerd 173, okay, the password's pusheen is pog, so, p-u-s-h-e-e, yeah, p-u-s-h-e-e-n, is pog. Uh, oh my gosh. P U S H E E N I S P O G. P U S H E E N I S P O G. There we go. Warning once created, a new se uh, session language cannot be changed. Uh. Press enter to confirm. Okay. Well, that was a process. Um, Hacknet, internal CPU management. Sorry if you guys can hear my fan. Um, oh. 14-day timer expired. Initializing failsafe. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write in this, this in past tense. Oh, I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Utilizing loading modules complete. Loading nodes complete. Articulating spines complete. Utilization complete. Launching tutorial. As of right now, you are at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. T connect to a computer by typing connect IP in the terminal or by clicking on the node on the network map. Connect to your own computer on the map now by clicking the green circle. Good work. <clears throat> the first thing to do on any system is to scan it for adjacent nodes. This will review more computers on your map that you can use. Scan this computer now by pressing the scan network button on the display module. That should be all you need from your own server for now. Disconnect from your machine. It's time for your for you to connect to an outside computer. Be aware, be aware that attempting to compromise the security of another computer is illegal under the USC Act 1030-18. Proceed at your own risk and connect to an outside machine by clicking on the blue node on the network map. This VM's terminal module has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing it and pressing enter. A computer security system and open ports can be analyzed using the probe or nmap command. Analyze the computer you are currently uh, connected to. Uh, I think we do probe. There we go. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to... 
it is possible to crack this computer using the program Port Hack. Port Hack. Cool. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system and you are now its administrator. You can do whatever you like with it. However, you should start by scanning for local nodes to locate additional computers. Do this using the scan command. Cool. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. List the files and folders in the current history directory. Uh, via file system. Navigate to the bin folder, binaries folder, to search for useful executables using the command cd folder. Okay, cd bin. To view the contents of the current folder you are in use. Wait, to view the contents of the current folder you are in use. That doesn't make sense. You are in use the command cells. Is that ls or is? No, that's ls. Uh, the, these are no program. These are no programs here. But you should look at config text in case information is useful. Okay, config text. Totally useless. Now to clear your tracks before you leave, move up a folder in the directory tree using cd. No, the wildcard indicates back. Or but wait, what? Now to clear your tracks, move a folder. Move up a folder in the directory tree. Move to the log folder. Delete all files in this directory. You can delete a file using the command rm file. However, you can delete all files in the current directory with the command rm. Uh, start. Did I do that right? Do, oh, do I have to put a space? Um, yep, okay. Excellent work. Disconnect from this computer. You can do so using the DC or disconnect command. Cool. Congratulations. You have completed the guided section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial program and kill it. The help command will give you a complete command list any at any time. Oh. Okay. Uh, wait, you must locate the process ID. Six and a half hours later. Oh. There we go. That was fast. Okay. Let's check our email. Uh, from bit first contact. Hi. I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will, but if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now, I'm trapped. There's no way out, and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first. The faster, the better. Hacknet, Hacknet OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node. It should be the green on your netmap. Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just reply to this email. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Use the display module or the command cd folder. Then cat file navigate really fast. Wait, what did you want me to do again? Uh, connect your own node. Should be great. Then find and delete security. Okay. Uh, file system. Not log. Systems, right? No. In? Yep, okay. RM. Tracer.exe. Done. Cool. And it's my own system, but uh, RM. Okay, there we go. Um, we don't need that anymore. 
Okay, and then he just wants us to reply to the email. Reply. Uh. Nope. Cool. Getting some tools together. Great! That should keep you safe for now. At least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone just isn't going to cut it on most modern computers. You'll find not ones. You'll find. No. Yeah. <laughs> on most modern computers, you'll find. Not ones with anything worth looking at, anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box. But he's always he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can for the most part ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by a program, IRC logs and the like. Custom named things like .exe files are are what you want to look out for. <laughs> Download any files you can you can using the command scp. Uh, good luck. Reply again when you're done. Viper Battle Station. And this. Oh, I used a lot of my RAM. Um. Uh, okay. Huh. Okay. Um, I think it is this about yep, this is Viper. Probe system. Port hack. A port hack. Okay, it's running. Okay, and then we wanna go to file system. Wanna go to bin. Uh, SCP SS. Okay, transfer complete. Uh, log, we don't need to worry about <laughs> YouTuber sex. Uh, okay, this is definitely a little Easter egg. Captain Spin <laughs> Spin Effects. Um, system. Nope, okay. So, let's just. Go back here. Uh, logs R M. Got that wrong. R M. Also, it's in the bottom left over here. If you guys couldn't tell, like that's where all the typing is. I mean, you probably could. But I don't know. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And D C. Okay. Delete. Oh, um, I don't think I did. Oh, okay. R M. Cool. So now we just reply to him. Made in flight. Congratulations. I honestly have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. But if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get it. Remember, any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run, like this. SSCrack22, file name, port number. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands. I did know that. Uh, hitting SSH, then tab, should autocomplete it to the full name, etc. Works for everything. Good luck. Okay, security. Uh, wait for this. Uh, probe system. Um, uh, we can only do SSH right now. SSH. Uh, twenty-two. Okay, it's cracking that. Knowledge. And then I think we do port hack, right? Okay, cool, there we go. And now we want to go to. Wait, what did he want us to do? Uh, you should try breaking into my old test. Oh, my non basic program is fine, okay. 
think I did it right. Yep. Okay. So now we're just gonna uh new logs. RM everything. Enter. And then DC. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to my mail. Something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favor. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is not got, which is, yeah, yeah, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forgot everything else, I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs if you haven't been starting, if you haven't been. Start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the slash log folder. Just go in there and rm star the whole thing. Never forget to. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I know what he wants me to do. Okay. Uh, we want to probe. And SSH 22. Um, okay. And for attack. Come on, come on. Almost done. Perfect. View logs. He wants us to get rid of the logs. I know that, right? Okay, yep. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, view logs. RM. Everything. DC. Well, wait. Before we do that, no. Cool. Now we just go back here and reply. Send. Uh, I think this might be our last one, unless he has another interesting mission. Where, where to from here? All right. If you see this, then you've done well, and, well, all of this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to, for ho to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I've realized that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn, and I don't have time to do any of it. So, I'm going to need to ask you something. There's a group that goes by Entropy that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more when you're ready. I'll, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server. A few shells open using this command shell. Running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it. I've almost forgot if you if you run into trouble, I've linked the Network Education Archives server too. It's got a whole lot of useful info. So we want education and we want Entropy test server. Probe. Ah, we need to shell. Shell. Okay, so we can only run one shell right now. Oh, boy, overload. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think it might do a little. I'm not sure. It might do an alarm with the proxy. Oh, okay. I've uh, I used to play this game a lot, but um. I don't know if I said that already, but, uh, yeah, uh, there's some where it sets off an alarm once you hack the proxy. Then we do port hack. I really like that, like, design. It's pretty snazzy. Do logs, do you bounce them, log, no. Introduction test. You download this file. Yeah. Download this file to complete your induction test. And we will contact you. SCP. Uh, entropy introduction test. Session saved. Cool. Ah, greetings, Banner1173. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the entropy group entrance exam. Well, well, to an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task. Surprisingly, few seem, few actually seem to manage it. 
before we're able to allow you to officially join the group, we must further confirm your abilities. A tabloid news server has recently taken a negative stance towards entropy, and we'd like to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we ask you to bring down the server's message board if you can leave the non-entropy related articles and the rest of that server is intact. We do not wish to be needlessly destructive. This is not a request to simply wipe the server clean of articles. We just want the program to be brought down. We just, we want just that program brought down. Thanks. Okay. And we should get rid of our logs. Our, um, everything. Okay, it's loading. And I think we're just gonna uh, do their work, and then that'll be it. Uh, wait. Slash probe, right? Probe. Uh, overload. SSH. Two. Come on, proxy. Do 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 There we go. And for attack, get that ready. Boom. Got everything going on right now. Cool. Um. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're on file system. Message board. Message board. That should be good. Button. Slash. What was, was it? RM. And. Just hacking. Um, so, um, um, so there's critical fasting, or rename it. Doing so will crash the board and bring the host program down. Changes to the config shape. We only make their scheduled options. I think we want to do that, right? I think they wanted to bring the system. Okay, so we are gonna uh, RM everything, and then we are gonna delete that RM config underscore. Oh, RM config. config. I think that might have done it. Oh, well, I said yes. Okay. Um. Well, I think that's gonna be it for now, guys. Um. I hope you enjoyed. Um. I'm hoping to play some of this game very soon. Some more of this game very soon. And yeah. Um. Just have a good day. And um. Feel free to subscribe. You know, I mean, like, it helps a lot. Um, it really does. So, yeah. Subscribe to me, the 13, who's a cringy. Um, but hey, if you don't want to, or if you already are subscribed and you want to just unsubscribe because you don't like me, that's completely fine as well. Uh, but yeah. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And, yeah. Bye.